going on, everybody? Today we're going to be trying to play some Cerebro 4. Um, I know it's not the best Cerebro, but I wanted to give it a shot. Um, I also wanted to throw in some cards that I usually don't see play, which is how you're going to see this crystal in here. Um, but yeah, we got a whole bunch of cards that can cost 4, or can get to 4 energy, 4 power, or have 4 power. So Ant-Man's a conditional, Rocket's a conditional, Wolverine, we want to try and hit with Colleen. That'll make him a 4 power card. That one's risky, because if it goes into a location that gets destroyed, we're just kind of screwed. Cloak has natural four power. Colleen, Coulson, Kingpin, Crystal, Claw, Sarah all have natural four power as well. And Claw is also sneaky because he puts power on the board without it being his base power. Um, so I don't think this is going to be that great, but I think it's going to be fun to try and make happen. And the C2 video made me want to try this one, so let's see how we can do. Clover. We've got Sarah, we've got Crystal. We got a really cool cloak variant. Let's play this out for now. Zabu is spooky. So is Lamentus One. Especially because we don't have... We don't have a uh, Cerebro. So that's obviously a pretty big problem. I don't think there's any way we can win this, just with what we've got. Especially not with Gamora hitting. I don't think it's possible, but let's give it a shot. Wolverine, go middle, please. That's our only hope. Oh, we're gonna be one short. Damn you, Sentry. I mean, it was really Mystique's fault. <laughs> Mystique with nothing to uh, to copy really did us in. Guess we could have tried to copy Ant-Man with Mystique, but I didn't know we were gonna get hit with Lamentus 1. <laughs> Let's go get another game. Matched up with Lock 2. This rocket could wind up being dead here. It does not, though. That is a big hit. Morag. That is not good for us. Alright, at least we drew Cerebro. That's good. That's good, that's good, that's good. Let's play Kingpin. I think we need to go Sarah next turn. Although the fear is Grand Central pulls Colleen which hits Cerebro. But I think we have to try this anyway. Ideally this Grand Central pulls Claw and maybe the other one pulls like Omega Red or something. It doesn't really matter at that point. And then, like, a top deck Mystique would be pretty incredible. Okay, so there goes the uh, Colleen risk. We are going to get one of the claws. And 
and the other one's gonna be Cloak. Which, they're gonna destroy our Sarah, but they're gonna destroy their own Darkhawk in the process, which is good for us. Honestly, kind of like double claw over doing anything else here. If I could play something else here and put claw over to the side, I would. They could hit me with two four drops, but I think this is okay. It looks like the you know the black bolt deck we were playing the other day, so like you're expecting. Um, Miles here, maybe a stature, and then a four drop is what we're expecting. Cerebro might have been the better play, like Cerebro on the right with Wolverine on the left. Oh, that winds up being a great play with the double claw. <laughs> Nobody ever sees a double claw coming. We didn't get to do the Cerebro thing, but double claw is, you know, pretty solid. <laughs> oh, we're playing against Lock 2 again. We know what they're playing. Can't hide from us, Lock 2. X-Mansion could completely destroy our entire deck. And I still don't know where a Cerebro deck because I didn't show it. Probably obvious, but I didn't show it. All right. So in order of goodness, pulling Cerebro would be pretty solid. Pulling Crystal would be very bad. I guess it wound up fine in the end. Let's go for Coulson. This X Mansion is going to dictate everything. Goose works. Goose is actually quite solid, actually. I cannot go Omega Red, that's that's bad. I'm glad I used my brain for a second. Getting rid of the Titania is good. We get that out of our way. We technically can go Mystique Colleen here. like a sneaky claw on the last turn. Although that discard could hit our claw, yep. That was my fear there. Is eight enough there? Gotta be playing stature here, I would think. 
But, like, do they just sacrifice something here? Because I need to hit at least one thing into Vormir to kill it. They've already used Enchantress, so we don't have to worry about that. Alright, they're going double middle. Darkhawk and Rock Slide. That's that's a win. That is a win. This is one of the best decks in the game. We just beat it twice in a row. I am not mad about that at all. Uh, let's try and get one more with this. We've matched up with Smells Like Marking Your Deck. Project Pegasus is pretty sweet because we get a turn one Sarah. I don't think anyone's ever been upset about that in the history of the universe. It could surprise us with the Galactus, but who cares? Professor X and Titania. Alright, they've got a Lechaguila. And a Jeff. Into Space Throne. I think I need to wait for at least Cerebro before making a move. And we have Sarah, so the patience can be paid off. Okay, so we pulled Cerebro, that's good. I feel like I wait one more turn. Or is it worth it to just start burning now? I have one, two, three cards I want to play, so I don't think so. I can play Claw next turn. That looks better. This will hit Wolverine. Wherever he goes is good. It's fine. Unless they play Black Bolt as well. That's fine. We can go. What do you got? Can always retreat next turn if it's too scary. Does the surprise Cerebro take it? I mean, the Goblin was a bummer. But they might think we can't possibly win this lane. The surprise Cerebro. Boom goes the dynamite. <laughs> Oh, I love it. That was such a confident snap, too. The turn five snap. Oh, God, I love it. That was a good game. They were probably worried that uh, Jeff of my own was coming uh, to take that lead. Oh, so beautiful. That's Cerebro 4. Went way better than expected. I, I can't even lie. Uh, I'm super happy about that. Honestly, Claw put in so much work. Uh, so did Ant-Man. The deck just went great overall. I can't complain. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Uh, yeah, as always, thank you all so much for watching. Please consider subscribing if you're new to the channel, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace.